Another aspect of the moral doubt is based on the lack of understanding of who Allah is. This is so important because we think now we become the judge. It's me. If I think it's wrong, then it's wrong. This is, this is ego. Who is Allah? Al-Hakim. Yes. He has the totality of wisdom and knowledge. Allah has the picture. We've got the pixel. Allah has the whole jigsaw puzzle together. We've got one small piece. As Ibn Kathir says, Allah has the totality of knowledge. We have fragmentary pieces. So we have to decide when Allah commands something, it's not arbitrary. It's in line with His nature. He is wise. He is Ar-Rahman. So He has the total knowledge and wisdom. He is the merciful. So therefore, when He commands something, it's wise and merciful. Even if you don't understand it. And this is not a blind obedience because when I was on the plane and the pilot said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be experiencing some turbulence. So please fasten your seatbelt. I obey him. He is the authority of the plane. He has more knowledge than me on turbulence and physics and how a plane works. So I buckle up. If I'm so arrogant not to buckle up, I'll hurt my head, right? Allah is the authority not only of the plane of physics, but of everything. So to deny his command is irrational and silly. That's the point. So we have to understand that even if there's a command in the Sharia or, or in Islam that we may feel is wrong. One point, maybe because we don't know the knowledge behind it, we need to study more. But the other point is sometimes we just don't know who Allah is. Allah is Ar Rahman and He is the wise and the merciful, right? And He has the totality of wisdom and knowledge. So when He commands something, it's a derivative of His nature. So His commands are wise and good and merciful, even if you don't understand. And that was Shaitan's trick, wasn't it? Shaitan, he said, I'm not going to bow down to Adam. He's made of clay. I'm made of fire. You need fire to bake clay. Right? He thought he was better. He was the first pseudo-rationalist because he used his limited knowledge experience to deny Allah. But he was the, the greatest idiot. Why? Because he denied the ultimate authority. So this is a subtle thing. Sometimes we have more doubts because we don't know the knowledge behind these things. And sometimes we have more doubts because we don't know Allah properly. If you really truly know that Allah is the wise, the knowing, and He is our Rahman, then whether we understand this moral command or not, we know it's from someone who is infinitely knowing and infinitely merciful.